All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I apologize for being late, uh, but in fact, I'm not late because I thought I set it up this uh, program for tomorrow morning. Uh, but I received a message saying, oh, you are waiting. Where are you? <clears throat> uh, so, uh, okay, well, it's supposed to be tomorrow morning, but look like we have to do it now. Uh, as you see the topic, actually, I did not post on Facebook yet, etc., because usually I post before I go live on air. And, uh, you know, this was not expected uh, too soon, but pff, what we can do? We do not need to prepare for anything anyway. But I uh, send a message to one of you in Patreon to translate for me the video, which I'm going to show in the screen. Uh, but what I, I translated the title uh, of uh, this video. And supposedly it is says uh, like uh, life choice, uh, Quran or Bible, something like that. Maybe one of you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so this is from the same channel of this, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Insane. The same channel, and they always attack the Bible and, you know, they speak... Uh, uh, supposedly uh, wisdom about Allah and how Allah can help you uh, now I don't know really what he's saying there I, because simply I don't understand as simple as that but I can get you know like uh, an idea what this is about if one of you can uh, watch this video and tell me in translation or let us say the headline it's nine minutes uh, uh, you can help me in answering what you are saying but regardless what they will say, <clears throat> regardless what they will say, you know, when somebody speak to us and say uh, um, the Quran or the Bible lifestyle, I mean, I don't know how, the, how even you can compare. First of all, the Quran, which is worthy, ah, okay, the, which is worthy, the Quran or the Bible, for sure the Quran, my friend. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> For sure. The Quran, as an example, teach me how to beat my wife. <laughs> you know, the Bible doesn't do that. So like, no, okay, I have a problem with my wife. And now if I'm a Christian, the Christian don't allow me to beat my wife. See the problem, brother? But the Quran, brother, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. The Quran, brother, will teach me how to beat my wife. I feel sorry for you. Quran for sure the winner. You know, you women, you, you like to be beaten, right? I mean, for sure you like it. <laughs> there, there's no women in the world don't like to be beaten by her husband. <laughs> Hello? According to Muhammadan, if you beat a woman, she get more uh, like excited. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. So when somebody says Bible or or uh, or the Quran, uh, first of all, you Muslims, you don't follow Quran. All your religion is in the Hadith. As an example, if we ask this potato, where in the Quran is teaching you how to pray? Where in the Quran is teaching you how uh, to do ablution? Uh, where in the Quran is teaching you uh, the punishment of uh, adultery for uh, married people? Uh, what is the... Uh, what is the what the Quran saying about uh, dealing with your family as an example as an example the Quran says to you if you have a family they are not Muslims you have to hate them you will never be nice to them you should not ever be you will not find one Muslim he is nice to his family his parents his brothers his sisters if they are not Muslims this is all is the teaching of the Quran so for the Quran for sure the Quran is the great book you know which one which one for sure there's no way we can compare uh, as you see here uh, the Quran says chapter 58 verse number 22 and actually I'm going to switch to the uh, Indonesian language so Indonesian people they can read with us you know to give me a second <clears throat> let us go to the Indonesian translation Yeah, if somebody can tell me what, uh, like, what is the headline of what this guy is saying, uh, I will be grateful. 
Now let us switch to the Indonesian uh, translation. So we go to Pasha, Indonesian. You know, this is what happened when you get older. I used to speak Indonesian very, very fluently. I used to speak Chinese, Indonesian, uh, you know, uh, all, all languages in the world, except Arabic. And then one day I drink camel urine. I woke up in the morning. I forgot all the languages and I remember only Arabic. Okay. The prophet recipe. What is the Indonesian language? Well, hold on. Uh, Indonesian basha. Here we go. <clears throat> I don't know what it says there here, but it should say that you will not find one person who believe in Allah, he is nice and loving to his family who they are against Islam, who they are not Muslims. Actually, I see here in the Indonesian language, they are saying Hezbollah, Hezbollah. <laughs> now we have Hezbollah here. Yes, we have Hezbollah. Do you see Hezbollah? Hezbollah in Lebanon. When I fight Hezbollah, the Shia, yeah, this is where the word Hezbollah, by the way, is coming from, in case you do not know. Hezbollah, you will not find anyone who is a believer in Allah, good for his family, loving to his family, who they are against Allah. For sure, this is, will make a very good teaching, very good religion, you know. So now, if you have a mother, you have a father, you have a brother, you have a sister, they don't like Muhammad, they don't believe in Muhammad, you have to kill them. Very nice religion, very beautiful. You know, what do you want more? Very beautiful. Very uh, nice. And now you can draw it away. Uh, the Quran will guide us to join Hezbollah or ISIS or Al Qaeda. What do you want more? Islam means peace. You see the peace starting from teaching hate i mean what is going to hurt allah if you love your family who they are not muslims you see the bible there is a verse that says jesus said that the one who uh, like if you don't hate your family and follow me but jesus is not talking about hating your family hating everything your family stands for which mean uh, the religion tradition uh, which mean which one is worthy for you me or your family but this is god uh, and he nowhere in the Bible, by the way, is talking about you hate your parents. No, the Bible actually there's a penalty of death if you insult your parents. If you insult your parents, the penalty is death. Same time, the Bible speak in the Old New Testament about loving your enemy. So there's no way Jesus is teaching you to hate your parents, but Jesus is teaching you to hate the whole world, which means not to be attached to the world, to anything, and number one thing for you is to be with the Lord that is your first love in Islam is the opposite in Islam Muhammad is the first love and you kill for Muhammad you slaughter for Muhammad you rave for Muhammad not for Allah you see Muhammad is a very evil person he cannot stand you being in love with someone who don't approve him to be a prophet while Jesus says love your enemy regardless of those people who approve Jesus or not actually Jesus in the cross he said father forgive them they do not know what they are doing to who to those who they are killing him not only they don't approve him they are slaughtering him literally yet he is thinking about forgiving them and saying father forgive them they don't know what they are doing so when an Indonesian person, he opened his mouth, big mouth, speaking about which one is worthy, the Bible or the Quran, I say to him, what are you talking about? You don't even have a religion. The Quran is not a religion. The Quran is a collection of stupid stories teaching hate and violence. And in the middle, there's a collection of fiction stories, the seven sleepers who slept in the cave for more than 300 years. And yet Allah is not sure they are seven or six or five. <laughs> Uh, Alexander the Great who found the sun set in murky water and Allah described to us and then he found where the sun rise from and then he found next to it Gog and Magog people who they are not a human which if each one of them his ear is the size of a tent and you can sleep inside it and they are very good in boom boom to the point they can have six and have one thousand child before they die 
If a Christian prince cannot do that, I can like make 999, you know. Uh, if you're translating highlighted text on the screen now, it says Islam say love every non Muslim. What are you talking about? The verse I showed you, it says Islam, it says love every Muslim, non Muslim. This is what it says. This is what it says. The, the text you, uh, I just highlighted, it says love non Muslims or hate them. Please uh, uh, be sure what you are saying. The text I'm highlighting, does it say you should hate, you will not, it should say, it should say the correct translation, you will not find one person from those who love Allah, love those who don't agree with Allah. So what it says? Tell me the translation, please. Translation is wrong? Okay, just to show you how then that's good. I want you to cut this video and then show everybody how they lie. Here we go. The same verse we will translate in English. You see, this is the same website. And the translation, both of them done by Muslims. Though will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah. Do you see it? And his messenger, do you see it? Do you see it? Uh, okay, so it matched the translation in Basha. I don't know, you guys are confusing me. Each one of you say it's uh, something, it says love, and it's, I don't know, I, I don't know what people are saying. Please don't, don't say something in the text. Don't, uh, like, we are not joking here. When I say the translation should say that, either you say it says that, or say it doesn't say that. Okay, so the translation accurate, then it says you should not be loving to anyone who oppose Allah, and oppose the prophet even if he is from your family your clan right so i'm assuming here those who oppose allah and his prophet his messenger huh, from your family your brothers your sisters your father your mother this is what it should be saying here correct so this is the religion this is the book will guide me now this is the book will guide me it will guide me for what I hate my brothers and sisters and my father, the one, my father, my real father, my real mother, from my blood. This is the book? Do you see how filthy this book is? The translation is different? Well, I don't know. Somebody help me and tell me what the different. Why you don't give me the correct translation from what I'm saying then? You see, in English, it should be the same as in English. Look at the English one. Even though I don't agree with Islamic translation, but it should be close to this. Though you will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day loving to those who resist Allah. You will not find. From who? Even though they are their fathers or their sons or their brothers or their uh, kindred, which means their tribe, their family. So we are talking about first-hand relatives, not even cousins, right? So this is the book you are saying to me, this is the, which one to follow? What he is saying here, let us see what he is saying. I want to start uh, him talking because the beginning is just uh, commercial. And this guy is hitting his head, I don't know. Uh, kita sering... Berbicara tentang kitab suci. Kitab suci. Jadi sebuah istilah atau nama mm -hmm. kitab suci itu sudah sudah familiar lah di kita orang kita orang beragama ya. Jadi saya familiar. Kitab sucinya orang Islam Al Quran. Kitab sucinya teman-teman Kristen Bible. Itu, <tuh> itu kita sudah sama-sama tahu lah. Pertanyaannya sekarang. Sejauh mana kitab itu benar-benar suci itu loh <laughs> Itu pernah, pernah gak kalian pikirkan Kitab suci 
Terus parameter sucinya itu di mana sih? Sehingga dia punya katakanlah kriteria, dia dia eh, memenuhi kriteria itu bahwa sehingga dia bisa dibilang suci. Itu 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 gimana itu? Pernah nggak berpikir? Oke, okay, we we'll stop here. What he said? Somebody can translate what you what he just said already? <coughs> I want one one person only to post for us what he said. Anyone? He said what it could uh, uh, be said as holy book must be original language, not translation, because it could be misunderstood. He said that? That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. He said that, guys. Uh, uh, follow the truth. Said that he is saying that we should follow in order to follow a book. It have to follow the real book, not a translation. All right. This is what he said, according to one of you. Is that correct translation? No. No? no, you guys okay. What is a certiria for a book to be called holy? Oh, okay, so the, the first one was saying things. You know, the one who will say things not in the video, I will, I will block you. I'm warning you. Don't say things have nothing to do with the video. I'm asking only to translate what is in the video, not in in the translation in the screen no more. All right. So he said, "What is a certiria for a holy book?" That's wonderful. What is a certiria for a holy book? <laughs> You know, the certiria for holy book, that there is a prophet, he made verses saying, any woman she want to open her legs for me, she's welcome. That is a holy book. I mean, isn't it obvious? Have you ever heard of a prophet? He makes chapters and verses about women opening his, her legs for him. That is holy. And this is coming from who? From Allah. That must be Allah himself. You know, he was... I mean, I have to make a verses for the Prophet to tell him who he can sleep with. This is only for the Prophet. Hey, Nabi. Nabi, Nabi. I allow you to sleep with your wives. You, you idiot. They are already his wives. What do you mean? Don't you think you are too late? This guy is doing boom, boom to them since the last century. And now you remember to say to them, you are allowed to have sex with your wives? I mean, hello? And then... And what Allah he gave you as a gift from the slaves. Slaves, they are gift. You can rape them. Yeah, you can rape them. Hmm. Your right hand process. And your cousin from your dad's side. And your cousin from your mom's side. Who does? And any women, she immigrate with you. Uh -huh. Who else? And any women she offer hers to the prophet to do boom boom with her. <laughs> I mean, this is holy. This is holy. And this is only a privilege for the prophet. Only for the prophet. You see, Allah, he went to his office. Today, what I will send my beloved Muhammad a verse. I will make a verse for him. Will make his testicles happy. Oh, Muhammad. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy, mommy blue. Oh, mommy blue. Oh, mommy. And Allah, he started thinking, hmm. Muhammad, you can fit if the following women, your wives, your slaves, hmm, and uh, your cousins. Oh, man, it's good to have sex with the cousin, isn't it? Isn't it? She's like your sister, you idiot. And the cousin from your side, from your sister, mother's side, and the cousin from your father's side. Don't leave anyone behind. In the top of that, the Prophet, any women immigrate with you? Who want to go in the bus with the Prophet? The Prophet is going in the bus. Who is a female? She like to go with the Prophet bus because it's lawful for him to do boom boom for you. That's mean you will get a free ticket and free boom boom in the bus. Hello. <laughs> the bus of the Prophet is the best. Forget about the rest. And this is only privilege for the Prophet. In the top of that, brother, any women she gave herself to the prophet so he can effort which which part is that is saying that any women she can give herself to the prophet well which part you know let me read for you lucky lucky what lucky lucky 
I, I, I cannot talk about politics. I think this is something dangerous, Lucky Lucky. Lucky Lucky Ibumu Dana Anak Anak Berum Bera Berma Berbam Buan Dari Sodora Berma Buna Ebu Mayang Tortor Tort Turret. Uh, he's right, here we go. Any women she immigrate with the prophet, here we go. I got it. Any female she immigrate with the prophet, it's legal for the prophet to do boom boom with her. <laughs> Unbelievable. Very beautiful. This is holy, brother. Are you kidding me? This is this is a pure holy. And any woman she offer herself, take me, baby. You know, Muslim women they will go to Muhammad, they'll say, Take me, baby. The prophet, you look at her, uh, she is old. <laughs> Oh, she is uh, over. No, not this one. Uh, <clears throat> and then after the prophet, he made verses about any woman she can open her legs for him and or give herself to the prophet. Then he start receiving some, excuse my language, ugly ladies who he don't like. So he made a verse right away saying, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Allah just told me that I can pick up from those who offer themselves the one I like and I can delay the one I don't like. Take a ticket. Do you see it? Do you see it? And this edit is talking about which is a certeria for uh, for holy book. This is holy book. This is holy book. Holy book is God saying any woman she want to open her legs to the prophet, give me, take me, baby. And then the prophet women they start coming and they are old and they are not what he's looking for. He's looking for like what well, was uh, the one like Aisha, six, seven years old. So when the ugly one they start coming, Muhammad he he, he have to risk, rescue himself. So he make a verse. You see, suppose it's Allah making verse. Look, <laughs> right away the verse came. And what the verse says say, Allah told me I can delay any of you, and I can take to bed right away any of you as I choose. <laughs> and there is no problem if you delay any of them, brother. <laughs> This is a holy book. Are you kidding me? Huh? This is very uh, holy. Okay. Berimamun. Hold on. Berima. Uh, okay. It says here from the type or uh, part where it says. <clears throat> uh, uh, from here. Oh, from here it says. Okay. Any woman she offer herself to the prophet. Huh? Ah. <laughs> Muhammad is talking. Hello, Prophet. My name is Fatima and I offer myself for you. <laughs> Fatima, how old are you? <laughs> I'm just 18 years old. <clears throat> uh, you're very old. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Hello, oh, the prophet is talking. Prophet, prophet, I'm so nervous talking to you. You are so, 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 so hot. I cannot wait to have boom boom with you. Uh, how old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen? Hmm. Okay, step aside. I will leave you for later. Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
And you idiot, you are telling me about the criteria for a prophet to be a prophet and holy book to be a holy book. You must be a holy donkey. Ah, uh, don't talk about donkey. <laughs> Even the donkey, the first one who commits suicide in his time is a donkey. His name is Yafur. And the first time the prophet he spoke to Yafur, anyone knows what he asked him? Who remember? I made a cartoon about it. Imagine a prophet of God. First time he speak to an animal, he's a donkey. He says to him, <coughs> Yeah, four. <laughs> yeah, four. Huh, huh, huh. Yes, prophet. <coughs> Do you like females? <coughs> yeah, four. I'm asking you a serious question. Do you like females? <coughs> yeah, four. Answer me. Do you like uh, females? Huh, huh, huh. Sorry, prophet, I don't like females. Have you ever heard of a donkey don't like females? And have you ever heard of a prophet? He asked his donkey. The first time he speak to him is about sex. The first time the prophet speaking to his donkey, the donkey is, is the conversation about boom, boom. This guy, even when he speak to his donkey, he is a uh, look. Look at this guy. He is holding his head. Uh, we are not talking about you. We are talking about different donkey. Excuse me. So you are making a video to talk about which one is criteria of a holy book. What is holy in your holy book? Hmm. Is that the holy one? Let us see. Mm, let us see how holy. <clears throat> Forget about what he will say. I mean, we got it. We got it. I want just want Indonesian to take this video, translate it, and get them busted. This is the holy book, chapter fifty-five, verse number fifty-six. This is holy. This is holy, and look at the fast translation, unbelievable. I mean, each one of them, he give you a translation as he wish. None of those translation is accurate, but eh, let us see. Brother, this is the holy book. That's holy. Allah is a promising us women who their vagina never been touched. <coughs> Excuse me, not touched. I'm trying to be polite. Do you see it? This is the criteria for the holy book. I mean, this is holy, my friend. So we have a God. His name, the pimp guru. Guru. Did you watch the movie? It's called the love guru. Even the love guru is not faithy like your prophet. This is what the holy in your holy book. If we go to the same chapter, uh, verse number 56 in the in Indonesian translation, let us see what is going to be. <clears throat> let us see. Are they saying the same or they are hiding the information? You guys tell me, I don't know. Di dalam surja itu ada bidari, 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 bidari twice. Why is that like square meter or something? Okay, bidari, bidari, young sopan manak mana manadu kan bandana na na ya ya tidak birina. By the way, my 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 Basha language is very improved. You know, you can tell between yesterday and today. You know, because I was saying inshallah all day long. So you can tell it's getting better. Okay? So what it what it says, guys, here? Somebody translate for me what it says in this verse. <clears throat> hey, hey, welcome, Angel. Welcome. I'm very happy that you joined our live debate too, but I'm not debating anyone. I'm just debating myself right now, sadly. So what is the translation? Somebody translate for me. It's so different, right? Yeah, so you see that, that uh, 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 in the English translation it says you will have women who nobody but 
excuse my language, how, how I'm going to say that? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. You see, I'm trying to be polite. Read it, read it yourself. Have nothing to do with nobody step with them. It's about they did not open their private part yet, literally. Nobody broke the skin of their virginity, literally. See, they are saying here, the translation in Indonesian, that nobody touched them, but that's not true. It says in Arabic, Yatmuthahun. You see, if you go here in the translation, you see, they put the word Yatmuthahun. You see it? Yatmuthahun. Between two brackets, what the meaning? Read carefully. Has opened their humans with sexual intercourse. Do you see it? So why in the Indonesian language it doesn't say that? Because simply they want to make the book holy. What kind of a holy book? Speaking of what, what is inside the women's vagina and who opened it and who did not open it. Hmm? You see? So when this guy is speaking about certeria of holiness, oh, obviously this is holy. What about this? Let us see what, what the translation here says about <clears throat> Kawaibun Atrab chapter 78 verse number 33 look at the translation here young full-breasted maturity <laughs> what a liar what young full-breasted full-breasted <clears throat> full-breasted may Allah fully breast you too young full-breasted young and full-breasted brother Let us see what it says here in the Indonesian language. Dan Gadis Gadis Rimaja Young Sebaya. What is that? In the translation they said in the video they said translation is not holy uh, use Indonesian Quraysh Shahib well uh, it's not up to me this is what they have in the website here I don't know I mean ah this one okay let us see Quraysh Shahib do Quraysh Shahib he say the truth uh, here we go this is Quraysh Shahib Hey, Quraysh Shahib. Hello, Samir. How are you? How are, how are you, Samir? Samir, you missed the bus. A second ago, the bus of the Prophet was full of virgins. And <laughs> it, even the driver was a virgin. By the way, they were virgin before they took the bus. After they took the bus, nobody is virgin, including the engine. <laughs> Unbelievable. So it says same age. Really, they are in the same age? Brother, so if we go in the heaven of Allah, all women, they will be in the same age. Is that six years old like Aisha, brother? <laughs> Unbelievable. That's fun. What the heck? So why it's, it says different here? It says women with big boobs, an equal age. Hmm. So when this guy, he speak about Sartiria of Holy Book, what is a Sartiria of Holy Book? Somebody help me with the translation, please. I don't know if any of you did watch the whole video. Anyone did watch it? Curvy girls? Man, you killed me now. I like curvy girls. <laughs> Unbelievable. I like curvy uh, beef, curvy, curvy girl. Are we going to eat sandwich now? That's what it says in, in the translation in Indonesian, curvy girl. Curvy, curvy, how are you? Every Muslim waiting for you. We are going to have curvy you, so we can make you barbecue. Curvy, curvy, curvy you. Curvy. So Allah promising us curvy girls. I cannot wait. That's holy. Not like the Bible doesn't promise me uh, curvy, uh, <laughs> curvy girls. 
הלו? זה בעיה? See, I wasn't prepared to, to come online right now. You guys, you surprised me. I was supposed to the time set for tomorrow, but by mistake, it came now. And look, we have only, because we, don't, we are not, uh, you know, it's not the right time. We have only 784 people. <sighs> so this guy is holding his head. He's thinking about what exactly? Look what he will say next. Help me. I don't know if you have a Bible or the Quran. I don't know if you have a Bible. tunjukkan tapi kalian ngetilah kan kan masing-masing kalian sudah pernah pegang kitab suci gitu apa sih kriteria yang paling mudah untuk mengatakan sebuah kitab itu suci mana nggak berpikir begitu kita biasanya asik bawa kitab suci ke gereja mana kitab sucinya ini ke masjid mana kitab sucinya ini terus apa kriteria sehingga dia disebut kitab yang suci gitu. Aku nggak berbicara masalah iman loh ya. Iman tuh nggak bisa didialogkan gitu loh. Kalau sudah kamu imani satu tambah satu tambah satu itu satu. Itu satu. Oke. Okay. Somebody tell me what he was saying until he for, until he arrived to at satu. What he was saying? Anybody can tell me what he is saying in the part we played? <coughs> Yeah, we got this one. Westeria is called holy, and that's all. All what he said is Westeria. We got that already. What he was saying. Uh, Uh, Dormis uh, Salahi is saying to us one plus one plus one is equal to one. <laughs> that work only in Islam, my friend, because Allah plus the Quran, the Quran is not created. Allah not created. So Allah plus the Quran is two. Hello? Mr. One plus one plus one. Oh, this is what he's saying? Okay. What is easiest criteria for a book to be called holy? Not regarding faith, because it, we already believe in one plus one plus one equal to one. So what is the point? This is what he said. We already believe that in one plus one plus one equal to one. Who is the one who believe in this? What he mean? No, we Christian, we don't believe in one plus one plus one equal to one. Who is the stupid who said that to you? This is what he said. Okay, let's continue. Translate the second part, please. Mau ngomong seperti apapun, aku percuma aja karena sudah iman. Iman tuh nggak bisa didialogkan. Yang bisa didialogkan tuh pengetahuan. Nah, nanti bisa kan ada satu tambah satu tambah satu itu dua atau tiga atau satu itu bisa kita diskusikan di pengetahuan gitu loh. Jadi di wilayah diskusi kita itu pengetahuan gitu loh. Okay, Bahawan, I, you know, I have a challenge for you. I challenge you, if you are not a donkey, son of a donkey, your grandfather is a mule. To show me one Christian belief that we have a three gods, who they are one plus one plus one is one. We don't. We have one God. So why Muslim they lie about Christianity? Where do you get this one, one plus one plus one plus one? Is it Jesus says, me and the father is one, you donkey? Did he say that? Did Jesus say the Father, the one who saw me, he saw the Father? He did not say two, he saw the Father. So why you Muslim lie about Christianity and about what we believe? However, as long as you mention this, let us see how many Allah you have. If we go right now and read what your prophet said, and don't, don't worry, be happy, you will die laughing at your prophet. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's see. <laughs> I 
I like it when a Muslim he speak about logic and God and God is one and God is two. All right. Let us see. <clears throat> This is Sahih al-Bukhari. I will show you hadith after hadith. Sahih al-Bukhari. Book number uh, six, uh, 60, sorry. Hadith number 105. And you see the other number here, depend on the Arabic reference. However, by the way, both reference is not really correct as numbers. Those numbers, they create them want to translate. And then, this is al-Bukhari. Remember, another hadith. Al-Bukhari again. What is the reference? 6573. 6573. Al-Bukhari. What else? Are we done? No. More reference. Everybody will die laughing at your stupidity. Al-Bukhari. 7439. Shall we continue? I mean, obviously, this is all is authentic according to Muslims, right? Okay. According to your prophet, you will see Allah in the judgment day. You will see him. Okay, but how you will see Allah? Allah will change his shape. He have many shapes. And if the Muslim they believe that Allah is one, then the first shape of Allah is it the same shape as the second shape of Allah? What happened to the first shape? Allah will change his shape. Read carefully. This is Sahih Bukhari, and your prophet is talking. Allah will come to them. Then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. This is what? This is other than the one they saw first time. So let us put here now in the side number one. This is the first shape. You see, I'm going with the Muslim logic just to show you the hypocrisy of this cult. This is the first shape of Allah. Number one, who said that this is a shape? Muhammad, not me. So don't tell me Muhammad is a liar. Shame on you. I will tell your mom. Then Allah will come to them in the shape other than the one which they saw first time. Do you see it? Other than the one they saw first time. You see it? Other than the one they saw first time. So number two, this is shape number two. Okay. So now we have to put one plus one, the first shape plus one more shape. Are we done? No, we are not. We are not done. Okay. So now we have to Allah. Allah in the first image, a shape here is, a, is about a physical being. So he is a physical being number one. And now he is a physical being number two. And physical being obviously is not the same as number one is not the same as a physical being number two. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Christian, I will open my scab later. So physical being number one is Allah. Physical being number two is Allah too. So now how many Allah we have? Two. But we are not done yet. Read carefully. And then the Muslim, they will refuse this Allah. They will say to him, you are not Allah. He will come to them and he will say, I am your Lord. I am Allah. And they will say to him, get lost. Get lost out of here, you filthy coward. You are a liar. You are not Allah. He do not Muslim see it. So Allah, because now he have different shape, the Muslim will kick his ass. And none will speak to him like he's as if he's a dog. You see it? None will speak to him as if he's a dog. Then the then but the prophet. And then it will be said, who is the one who will say to him, you are not Allah? The prophets. You see it? Muhammad will say to Allah, you are not Allah. Do you see it? 
Even Muhammad himself will kick the ass of Allah and he will say to him, get lost, you are not Allah. And then it will be said, how we will know him? They will say, how you can recognize him? Do you know the sign which you can recognize him? They will say, the shin. So then Allah will uncover his shin. So now let us go with your prophet description. We have Allah number one shape plus Allah number two shape. They are two different physical being. Then we have the shin, which the only way for you Muslim to recognize Allah because Allah is a shin. Do you see it? Shin. So one plus one plus shin, what we have? We have two being plus shin. Where is Wallah? Do you see how they lie to you? We in a Christianity, we don't believe in such a garbage. In Christianity, we don't believe in such a garbage. It is you Muslim who believe in that. So if we ask the Muslim now, when Allah, he became the shape number one, what happened to the shape number two? He burned it. He hang it in the closet. And when Allah, he is in a shape other than the one they saw first time, who is the one who created the shape? If you say the one who created the shape, which Allah, he came with second time and first time, that's mean Allah is inside his creation. And that will destroy all the cult of Islam. So it is you who have one plus one plus one equal to one. It's not us. For us, all the Bible says your God is one. Jesus says me and the Father is one. <laughs> the first prayer the Muslim they pray, the Christian they pray, you know, like in after the meeting of Nisi, they made they made the Allah where every Christian recite, we believe in one God. One God, we'll go read it. When the Christian pray and Jesus told them what they say, our Father art of heaven. We don't pray our fathers. So here we see that they lie when they speak about Christianity. They are a bunch of donkeys. They think they are smart and here we get them busted. Do you see it? Which one of them is Allah? Allah shape number one or Allah shape number two and who is the one who made shape number one and what is the shape number one that Muslim rejected and what is shape number two and what is shape number three what is a shin and what kind of God is a shin we Christian we say hallelujah do you Muslim say shin you worship a God he is a shin and what what do you mean he is uncover his shin he is doing striptease now You don't know what shin mean? You don't know what shin mean? Okay, let me show you what shin is. I like this part, by the way. <clears throat> okay, brother, this is shin. Get ready. But this is a, like a beautiful shin. The shin of Allah have nothing to do with this. Take, be careful. This is shin. Have you ever heard of a God? He will show his shin. This is the shin. Let me let me point the the, the uh, arrow so you can recognize which one is a shin. This is Allah. Have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? And now what they will say, they will say the prophet is a stupid, he do not know what he's talking about. They will say that they, they, those Indonesian, uh, 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 this Abdul, he know more than the prophet. What they will say? We, we, you see the stupidity? They say God does not have a child. Do, do we, we believe that God have a child? <laughs> Do we believe that Jesus is a, is a, is a child of God? We don't believe in such a you see they, they lie about Christianity. 
And by the way, Allah, according to the reference, he have only one shin. We don't know what happened to the other one. Maybe he lost it. He was in the war in Afghanistan and a bomb exploded or something. You know? So you see, when they lie about our belief, we don't believe in one plus one plus one. Where do you get this from? Show us from the book. Show us where it says we have one plus one plus one. In fact, it is you Muslim who believe in one plus one plus one plus one is equal to one. If we go to the Quran and let me get you busted more, as always. According to the Quran, Jesus is a three, yet he is one. The Quran says so, not me. Let us see. <clears throat> So this is the certeria of holy one plus one plus one you donkey <laughs> if we go and see what the quran says about jesus i want you muslim to read with me and die laughing at the stupidity of your god the same verse <clears throat> where it says there is no trinity is the same verse says that there is a trinity but the trinity according to islam which is not what we believe in you see i don't speak uh, basha uh, but here it says that the Messiah is the Word of God. Which one is the Word of God? I don't know. Somebody tell me which one is the Word of God. The Messiah in the verse here, he is a messenger. Isa al Messiah. He is Rasul. Okay, we got this one. He is Rasul. So what he is? He's a man. He's a man. Okay. And then he is a kalima. You see, they are using Arabic word. Okay, hold on. So now we have what? We have the Messiah is a Rasul. He's a man in the flesh. Be my witness. This is a Quran. He's a Rasul. And then he is a kalima. He is the word of Allah, which is a proceeding from Allah. And he sent it to Mary, but he is a spirit. He is a ruh. He is a ruh. Here they are adding the word Jibreel, but in the in the in the Quran should not have Jibreel. What Jibreel? What Jibreel? What Jibreel? There's no Jibreel. In the whole chapter, the old verse there's no Jibreel. That's fabrication. So it should say that he is a Rasul, he is a Kalima, and here it should say he is a spirit. Anyone which one is a spirit? Which word is a spirit? Somebody help me. <clears throat> Which one is the word is spirit in the chat, in the text? There's the word is spirit. We are waiting for you to tell us. There's no ruh. The ruh is gone. There's no ruh. There's no ruh. You see the liars? Do you see the liars? In Arabic it says, Waruhun minhu. Here we go. Be my witness. Waruhun minhu. Liars. Liars, liars will die in fire. Now let us change the translation. We will use different translation which is Indonesian too to see which one of them is saying the truth. Give me a second. It says the word Allah blowing by Jibreel. Where it says that? You see, you see the you see the liars, you see the liars, you see the scum back. How we can how you I feel sorry for you, Indonesian people. Why they are lying to you? You see, I'm going to change. Look, look. In the front of your eyes, I'm going to change the translator. It was uh, Quraysh. Now I will make it Basha. Uh, Indonesian, Basha, Indonesia, whatever. Here we go. Let us see how the translation will change. I'm sure it's going to change. Do we have Jibreel here? I don't see Jibreel. What happened to Jibreel? He died? Where is Jibreel? I don't see Jibreel here. You see, this is a Muslim translation too. Jibreel is gone. Oh, Jibreel took vacation. So look what it says here. Isa al-Masih. 
uh, he is the word of Allah Kalimat Allah okay he is the word of God he bestowed upon Maryam he sent to Mary and he is a Ruh you see in the other translation they took the word Ruh do you see the liars so look what let us go back to zero in this is translation it says that the Messiah is the following he is a messenger the Messiah where is the word messenger I don't see the word messenger I should say Rasul anyway it should say Rasul here somewhere that Isa is a Rasul and now he is the word and then he is a Ruh from Allah and he is a Rasul okay three so Jesus the Rasul is the man Jesus the, the word of God and Jesus the spirit of God but this is a three this is a three Ustan is a messenger Ustan is a messenger okay where is Ustan where is Ustan hold on Otsan, Otsan, Otosan, Oto, Otosan. Okay, here we go. We found it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. I forgot my Basha language, you know. After I learned the last 70 languages, because uh, Ali ibn al-Khattab, sorry, Ali ibn uh, uh, Abi, uh, Abi Talib, he speak 1,000 languages. Oof, 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 oof. He did beat me. So look at this, Muslims. They lie to you, they say, we Christians believe in one plus one plus one, and that is impossible. It's you who believe in that, not us. How Jesus is a man, yet he is Ruhullah, he is the Ruh of Allah. He is a Ruh of Allah, not just a Ruh. Here it should say the Ruh of Allah. Ruhun minhu, from who? From Allah. So he is, number one, let us count together. Number one, he is a Rasul, which means a man. Number one. This is number one. Uh -huh. Okay, this is number one. He is Rasul. Wonderful. Number two, he is the word of Allah. Number three, he is the Ruh of Allah. But this is one person how Jesus is one person and he is a three and the funny in the same verse it says don't say Trinity which one is the word Trinity tell me guys which one here in the in the verse is word the word of Trinity which one somebody help me where is the word Trinity hmm. do you see the stupidity the same verse saying it cannot be three and one in the same time, but the same verse saying there is Trinity. But this is their own Trinity. Which one is the word Trinity? Tega? The word Tega. Oh, okay, here we go. We found it. So look at this. Here it says there is no Trinity. So how Jesus is three and one? Is Muhammad a three and one? No. Is Musa the three and one? No. Is Muhammad is the word of Allah? No. Is he the Ruh of Allah? No. He is Rasul of Allah, according to Muslim, yes. But he is not the Ruh, he is not the Kalima, not the word of Allah. Only Jesus. Muslims, can you explain to us how Jesus is a three and one in the same time? You see, the same verse saying, say no Trinity, no Trinity, okay. No Trinity, no problem. How Jesus is three and one at the same time. Tahu Tiga, God is a three. Okay, no problem, Tahu Tiga. Okay, so they are saying, don't say God is a three. First of all, we don't say 
You see the stupidity? It's you who said Jesus is a tree. It is you, Muslims, it's you. We don't, we don't believe in this, by the way. For us, we don't believe in this. It is you who believe in this. For us, this is not a trinity. This is your trinity. So how you are trying to say to us, don't say God is a tree, and in the same time you are believing that Jesus is a tree. In the same time, if we ask the Muslim, is the word of Allah, is it created? They will say no. We Christian, we don't say God is a three. We say God is one. And we can show you tons of verses. Actually, in the same channel, just yesterday, the idiot who uh, in San was quoting for me a verse from the Bible saying, Jesus says God is one. You see how they lie? Isn't it them in the same channel they quote for us from the Bible, Jesus says God is one? <laughs> and now, we prove in the Quran that the one who wrote the Quran is a certified stupid because he is fighting the Trinity, but he is teaching us his own Trinity. That there is a person, his name is Isa, he is the Word of God. And you know what? The Word of God is not a created. <coughs> Go right now, Muslims, and search in, 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 in Google, Prophet Google. You will find all Muslim fatwa saying that the Word of Allah is not a created. Actually, if you believe that the Word of Allah is a created, they will cut your head. You are not a Muslim no more. You are upstate. Here we go in front of you. It says Jesus is Kalimatullah. That's mean he is not created. According to the Muslim, the Kalimatullah is not created and it's divine. So now you have two gods. Allah is not a created. The word of Allah is created. And the funny, how you correct the word of Allah if it's not created by Allah? Hmm? We got it, we got it. The verse says, don't say three, God is the three. We got it, we got that. This is what we are saying. Why, why you keep repeating the same thing? This is what we are saying. We got it. So, don't say God is a three. And we don't believe in God is a three. No, we don't. We believe God is one. In the same time, you are saying that us, that Jesus is a three and one in the same time. Is Jesus, according to the hadith, called Ruhullah? Yes. Kalimatullah, yes. Is Muhammad Kalimatullah? No. Adam? No. Abraham? No. This is how stupid those videos are. And this is how we got them busted. Do you see how easy it is? It is you who believe it. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1. Look in the front of you. Let me let me make it more clear. Hmm? Give me a second. Otsan, Otosan, huh? I will copy it. And I will put them here in the side. This is what the Quran says about Jesus. He's an Otosan, he's a he's a messenger, he's a human. Okay. Plus. Plus what? Read carefully. Plus, he is a kalima, kalimatullah. He is a kalimatullah. Okay, let us uh, find it. <coughs> uh, Lord have mercy with the stupidity of this 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 kind of this this, this the religion. So he is Oto San and he is a Karima. What is the word Karima? I cannot find it. Hold on, where where we lost it? Okay, here we go. We found it. He is Karimat. All right. 
and then he is Ruh plus Ruh Ruh Darinaya I don't know what Darinaya mean somebody tell me what Darinaya mean all those three is one what his name Isa according to Muslims So how you say in the same verse, it's impossible to say three is one, but Isa is a three and one. How he is a human, how he is the word of God, how he is the ruh of Allah. Not only it says he is ruh, by the way, he is waruhun minhu. He is a spirit from him, not created by him. Read it. From him? Oh, okay, here we go. So here we have to add the last one. Let us change this to add uh, uh, a correction. All right. A spirit from him. What do you want more? How you can be spirit and how you can be human and how you can be a word in the same time? You tell me. Am I the word of Allah? The Muslim, they will say no. Are you the word of Allah? The Muslim, they will say no. Are you the ruh of Allah? The Muslim will say no. You see, because all of us, we are children of Adam, which means Allah created only Adam and Eve, and the rest is not Allah creation. It is a reproduction of Adam and Eve. But the Messiah himself is not the son of Adam. He is the son of no man. And here we understand why the Messiah is a son of no man. For he is from above. If we ask the Muslim now, according to the verse, does it say that the word of Allah sent down to Maryam in the verse? Guys, does it say that? Does it say in the verse that Isa the Messiah is the word of Allah sent down to Maryam? Yes, it says that. Even though I don't speak uh, the, 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 the language, but we can find it. Here we go. It should be saying here, that Isa al-Masih, uh, the son of Maryam, is the word sent down from Allah. al -qaha. You know what al -qaha mean? al is a throwing or sending something from high to down. So the Messiah, before he became a man, he was a word where? In heaven. This is what the Quran is saying. The Quran saying that the Messiah was in heaven. What he was in heaven? He was the word. Be my witness. But this is totally agreeing, agreeing with the, the Bible. If you go to chapter 1 in the book of John, it says in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God. So, Jesus is the word of God. He was where? In heaven. But the word of God is God. If we ask the Muslim now, is the word of Allah is not Allah? The Muslim, they will say, yes, he is not Allah. But it's not a created. So wait, now we have to with God. Because the word of Allah is divine. And Allah is divine. So we have to God. In Christianity, we don't have such a problem. Why? Because we believe the word of God is God himself. Not two. Not the second second God, not the third God. It's them who have a problem, not us. So the Messiah is the word of God, for God himself and his word is one. In John chapter 1, verse number 14, the Bible says that the word, which is the Messiah, became a flesh. And this is exactly what the verse here is saying. That the Messiah was a word in heaven, and then he came down and he's born of Mary,
and he is a spirit from God and he became a man Rasul he's a Rasul Utsan human but yet he is the word yet he is a spirit and the word and the spirit both of them they are coming from heaven so we proved from the Quran that Jesus is God for Jesus in the Quran is coming from above I am NOT coming from above I am son of Adam Jesus is not son of Adam now we understand why Jesus is not the son of Adam do you understand me Christians from Indonesia do you understand what I'm saying if we ask the Muslim okay why only Jesus is not the son of Adam all of us we are born of Adam okay all of us no exception why Jesus they have no answer stupidity because Muhammad is a thief he took from Christianity some he put it in his book so he can deceive more people but he can't explain why why the Messiah is different from okay, Muhammad should be the the one who have no father because supposedly Muhammad is higher than Isa <laughs> but there is no way Muhammad can be higher from Isa according to the Quran because as you see Isa himself is a miracle you see the Messiah himself is the miracle Muhammad is not Muhammad could not do a miracle and he is not a miracle the Messiah he is a miracle even the Quran says when the Messiah was an infant he spoke he did not wait 40 years so somebody will come and squeeze him and then he don't know what's happening he go to his wife and he starts snoring and hitting himself like a crazy the Messiah is born as God he speak wisdom who taught him wisdom where he taught wisdom how he can be taught wisdom he is just born how come Muhammad needed all those years to receive verse after verse after verse after verse when Jesus is born in the cradle speaking the wisdom of God and who said that the Quran the yellow pages of Muhammad So when they speak about one and two and three, we laugh at your stupidity because number one, you are a liar. Look at this verse here. Chapter five, verse number 110. It says, Remember, Isa, my blessing upon you and your mother. I supported you with the Holy Spirit, Quddus. Okay, who is the Holy Spirit? The Muslim they say Jibreel that the most stupid answer how Jibreel became Holy Spirit you know what show me one verse in the Quran is saying that Jibreel is Holy Spirit any Muslim can show me where in the Quran it says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit it says I supported you by the Holy Spirit literally Holy Spirit okay why you supported the Isa by the Holy Spirit why is that did Muhammad get the support of the Holy Spirit? The Muslim, they will say he got support of Jibreel. If we type the word Holy, the word Holy Spirit in the Quran, Ruh Al-Qudus, we will find the Quran mention the Holy Spirit in chapter 2, verse number 87. Chapter 2, verse number 253. Chapter 5, verse number 110. And chapter 16, verse 102. That's it. The first three verses is speaking only about Isa. Only Isa was supported by the Holy Spirit. Just to show you how Muhammad he got himself busted. Chapter 2, verse number 87. Does the Quran say that Allah supported Musa by Holy Spirit? No. Read carefully. We gave Musa the book and followed him with succession of a messenger. And we gave Jesus, the son of Mary, clear sign and strength him with the Holy Spirit. Okay, why he did not give the Holy Spirit to, uh, to Musa? Why he did not give it to Abraham? 
Why he did not send the Holy Spirit to uh, Adam? Most of them say Adam is a prophet. Why Isa? Now, the verse after it, it's about Isa too. Chapter 2, verse number 50 to 53. We made ranks of a prophet and which to contradict other verse in the Quran because other verse in the Quran says that we, we did not make differentiation between prophet, but here it says, no, we, we differentiate between the prophet. So we endowed with gift, some above others. Okay, what is the gift? Read carefully. The one of them, Allah spoke, Musa spoke to, 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 uh, uh, to Allah. And the other, he raised in grace and honor, Jesus, son of Mary, we gave him a clear sign and strengthened with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Jesus again and the Holy Spirit are together. Okay, so the only one who was strengthened by the Holy Spirit in the Quran is Jesus. The verse after it, chapter 5, verse 110, the same. The Messiah speak in the cradle, and behold, I strength thee with the Holy Spirit. Do you see it? And the Messiah was a child, an infant, and he spoke the word of God. He did not need to wait 40 years, and then an angel, he would come and squeeze him. And now if we ask ourselves, okay, Jesus, he did not meet Jibreel according to the Quran. So who is the Holy Spirit? Any Muslim can tell me? Then the Muslim, they will say to you, the last verse here, the last chapter, chapter 16, verse number 102, this is about Jibreel. No. And we can prove it easy. Say, the Holy Spirit brought revelation from the Lord in truth. Who is the one who brought it? The Holy Spirit. They say this is Jibreel. How we can prove that this is going to be Jibreel? Anyone can help me? Anyone can help me? How we can prove that the Holy Spirit cannot be Jibreel? Here the verse says, the Muslim they will say, it says that the one who sent down the word of Allah is the Holy Spirit. And then they say this is Jibreel. How we can prove this is going to be true? Let us do that. If we go in the Quran, in the different verse, you will see that angels are not spirit. Chapter 78, verse number 38, it says, The day the spirit and the angels stand forth. Do you see it? Ari, I saw your question, my friend. Just take it easy. We are explaining the point here. Do you see it, guys? If Jibreel is a spirit, then the Quran is a stupid. Because why you say the day the spirit and the angels will stand forth in ranks? If Jibreel is a spirit, you see, it doesn't say the spirit of the angels. It doesn't say the angel. It says it clearly. The spirit and the angels will stand. So they are two kind. Do you see? Are we taking reference? This is how easy to get them busted. Islam is very stupid. You see, Islam is very powerful if you are stupid, ignorant. Islam is very stupid, silly, cult, if you are educated. If the angels are a spirit, then we cannot say the angel and spirit. That will be stupid. Because isn't it the angels are spirits? So you Muslim, don't you say that the Jibreel is the Holy Spirit? So what do you mean the spirit and the angels? You see, it doesn't say the spirit and maybe uh, one of the angels, like maybe it says the angels, which means all the angels in a category and all the spirit in a category. Do you see it? Any Muslim have a comment? Any Muhammadan who, who follow Muhammad? 
the murderer. So when those people, they make videos, first, the first thing in order to attack Christianity, they lie. We Christian, we don't believe in one plus one plus one plus one. And I invite this guy with his long hair, which make him look like a girl for me, very cute. Uh, you know, do you dare to talk to me? And we can get you, a, you know, you can get a Muslim from your side who translate, translate what I say, or you can get Mr. Insane to translate for us. I mean, his name is Insane. Huh? You are insane together. Do you dare? You don't. Potato. So they lie about Christianity. They lie about our Bible. And they fabricate words we don't believe in it. The fact they are the one who they are pagan. They are the one who worship more than one God. And we can prove it easy because they believe that the Quran is not created. And the Quran is divine. And Allah is divine and not created. So now we have two uncreated person. In the top of that, we showed you that Muhammad believed that Allah, he have many shapes, which means he is many physical beings. Which one is Allah? Shape number one, shape number two, or Mr. Shin? And here, by the way, the story about God is a Shin remind me of Mr. Bean. I mean, those Muslims, they say to you, how you worship a man? How you worship a man? How you worship a man? And then we find that their God is not even a man. He's a half man. He's a quarter man. He's a Shin. This is your Allah. Do you see Allah? Look at him. This is Allah. But for sure, the, the shin of Allah. You know, once I was debating a sheikh, two sheikh actually from Tennessee. I don't know if any of you saw the video. It's in YouTube. It's called Dr. Uh, uh, Nabil Baikli and Imam Malik Saur. You can search it. Uh, so I said to him, Allah is a shin. He said, oh, the shin of Allah is not like your shin, Christian Prince. <laughs> I mean, look at this answer. The shin of Allah is not like my shin. Who cares if it's a shin, my shin? What you have is a shin. Your God is a shin. So the answer is the shin of Allah is not like your shin. This is the answer. Yeah, I did not put uh, something ugly. So you guys are going to get scared. I, I can put my shin if you want, by the way. But most, many of you, they might have an attack and die or something. I, I don't want to be responsible for anything, a pretty problem. I can take a picture of my shin and scare the hell of you. You know, last time I, I jumped in the swimming pool, uh, the, the security, he said to me, sir, you can't swim with your clothes. I said, I'm not wearing my clothes. This is my hair. You know, uh, this is the only proof the atheists they have against us. They say that a human being is a chimpanzee and he's a monkey, you know. I don't want to post a picture now. So Allah is a shin. This is God. It's nice to meet you, Allah. Now we get an idea about Allah. This is God. So this is how we recognize Allah by His shin. And remember, Muslim, they might say to you, oh, shin here does not mean the shin, physical shin, shut up. The hadith is so clear. Here we go. It says He will come in a shape do you see the word shape? This is your translation. Allah, he will come to you in a shape. And the first of the of the hadith, by the way, they ask him, they ask Muhammad, are we going to see Allah? Shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? He said, hey, sure, you will. <laughs> meet me, meet me in the watermelon uh, field. You, you see Allah, yeah, we will see. Is there any difficulty in seeing him? He said, do you have any difficulty in seeing the sun? And the moon, when the sky is clear, this is how easy it is to see Allah. So they might say to you, the shin mean war, the shin mean difficult, stupid liars. It's talking about seeing Allah physically. And it's going to be so clear. And then Muhammad, he is the one who chose the word image and shape. So then Allah, the Almighty, will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. When you Muslims saw Allah first time? Hmm? When, when the first time you saw Allah, I went to the zoo many times. I did not see Allah there. And he will say, I am your Lord. And you will say, you are not our Lord. You are a scumbag, fraud. You are not him. You cannot be him. You look ugly, disgusting. I mean, why Muslims you, you, you will reject Allah because of his shape? What's the problem? 
Allah is coming as a goat. He's coming as an elephant. He's coming as a, this guy in the video. What happened? Why you don't want to accept Allah because of his shape? What happened? Is it ugly shape? Disgusting shape? Obviously it is. Otherwise, why reject him? The Muslim, they say Allah is a light. But how Allah is a light, but he's a shape. You see, Muhammad, he's a... Muhammad is a, is a stupid person. The, the more he talk, he don't, Muhammad he don't talk. Muhammad do make poo poo. Each time he speak, he do poo poo. <coughs> Muhammad is doing poo poo. This is not talking. And now the Muslims they wish that the poo poo of Muhammad will disappear. This is why anything we show them, they say this is daif. This is Sahih Bukhari. You know what daif? Even this one, trust me, they will say this is daif. But this is Sahih Bukhari. This is the most authentic book. And Muslim, they don't even go by the Quran, they go by Sahih Bukhari. Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Bukhari, Mid Muhammad, look, Ferrari, took the Ferrari and ran away, because I can't explain all the way. And Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih al Bukhari. Thank you, Sahih al Bukhari. Because of Sahih al Bukhari, we are spanking Muhammad every day. And the funny, by the way, the Muslim they say to you that we preserved the word of Allah. So why you have Sahih al Bukhari? If the Quran is the book of Allah and the Sartiria, of which one is a holy book? Well, you don't have a holy book, otherwise you will not see need Sahir Bukhari. And the funny, by the way, just to show you how stupid this religion is. Muhammad, he told the Muhammadan, don't write hadith. Let me find the hadith for you. Uh, <coughs> Look at this. Look at the stupidity. Look at the stupidity. Muhammad told them, don't write hadith. Just to show you that this religion is made by a donkey, preserved by donkeys, and translated by a mule. The Prophet said, read with me carefully. The, prophet, the Messenger of Allah said, don't write down anything from me. Okay. And he who took down anything from me except the Quran, he should efface it, which means erase it. And look how stupid this hadith is. He just told you, don't write it, and you are writing what he said. I mean, do you see more stupid religion more than this? The guy, he just told you, don't write what I say, only Quran write it down. The guy, he said, the Prophet said, don't write anything, write only Quran. Hashish. You eat it, you donkey. He just told you, don't write hadith. He just said that to you. So you're right. The prophet said, don't write hadith. He told you, don't write hadith. Why are you are writing it? I mean, the hadith itself saying, don't write hadith. And you write the hadith. It's saying, don't write hadith. You must be a certified donkey to do this. The guy, he just told you, don't write it. It's like saying to you, don't write in the wall. And you, you take the pen and, pen and you, you write in the wall, says, Christian Prince says, don't write in the wall. <laughs> For sure it's Sahih. They cannot say it's not Sahih. So if you Muslims, if you Muslims, you believe in your prophet. So why you have the Hadith? And now how we can have Islam without the Hadith? Actually, Islam doesn't exist in the Quran alone. Quran is an empty book. I'm not going to keep you long with me. I hope you guys have a good time. Don't forget to translate this video, share it with the Muhammadan in Indonesia. We love the Muslims there. We love to help them. We are not against you Muslims. We are against lies. They are lying to you about Christianity. There is no one, no one better than Christ. Even in the stupid book of Muhammad, you cannot find better name. You see, even the name Al Masih. Do you know Al Masih? Let me teach you something. 
Why Muhammad? His name is not Al Muhammad. Al Muhammad. Let me type the word for you. Why you Muslim don't say Al Muhammad, but you say Al Masih? Why why you don't write that? Instead, you write just the word Muhammad. What a different. Any Muslim knows? Why you don't say Masih? Instead, you say Al Masih. Why? Do you want to know why? For the Masih is only one. Only one. This is why we add L before it, because he is the only one. There's no two, there's no three, there's no four. Muhammad, there's many. Anyone, he can call himself Muhammad, but nobody in Islamic country, he dare to call himself Al-Masih, they will kill him immediately. Is that telling you something? He is not Masih, he is Al-Masih. And not a single one. You can call yourself Isa, no problem. But you cannot call yourself Al-Masih. Do you know why? For he is the Savior. There is only one Savior. Only one. And that is a powerful title. Belong only to God. For nobody can save you save God. If the Messiah is just a man like you and me, he hardly can save himself maybe. But Al-Masih is the Savior. Actually, even your prophet, he said, when Shaitan, he see the Messiah, Shaitan will melt like salt. Do you believe it? Let me see if I can find you the hadith. Give me a second. <clears throat> He will melt literally like salt. Unbelievable. I hope I can find it. As you know, I don't like to mention something without showing the reference. All right, I think we found it. Let us see. Read carefully with me, everybody. And this is Sahih. This is Hadith Sahih Muslim. We can find it in different uh, book too. Hadith Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2897. What will happen when Shaitan, he see the Messiah? What will happen exactly? Read carefully, my friend. It would disappear just, just as salt dissolves itself in water. Do you see it? This is your prophet saying that. Shaitan, according to Muhammad, he commanded Muhammad. He did not melt in front of Muhammad. Let us show you. And always, by the way, if you want to find the hadith I showed you in the screen, you can freeze the screen, write exact few words from one line of the hadith, and you will find it in that website. Read carefully. Muhammad saying, there's none among you who don't have attached 
from among the jinn, the devil. They, the companion, they say, Allah Messenger, would you too? Thereupon he said, Yes, but Allah help me against him, and I am safe from his hand, and he does not command me but for good. <laughs> Muhammad, he agreed that shaitan commanded him. Who is the one is commanding Muhammad? The devil. This, this is your Muslim translation. The devil. Why the devil is commanding Muhammad? How can how that can be true? Do the devil command Isa? As you see, we just showed you Muhammad. He says, when the devil see Isa, the enemy of Allah will melt as a salt dissolve itself in water. So my friend, you Muslims following a prophet, he taught you, he told you, I am a person who is giving command, according to Muhammad, by the devil. And this is the hadith where the enemy of Allah will melt like salt. And by the way, in the same website, the same hadith here, we have a false prophet of Muhammad because he claimed an army will come from the city of al Medina and he will open or occupy Constantinia. But the army who occupied Constantinia was not from Medina. It was the Turkish. They are not the Arab and it is not from al Medina. So my friends, it's very easy to get them busted, but you need to educate yourself. So I hope what we are doing here is not a waste of time. And I'm very, very, very grateful for my beautiful brothers and sisters from Indonesia who they are translating my videos into Indonesian languages. I saw some of my videos, they have not only hundreds of thousands, some of them they are almost having, I don't know, this is all the news. I saw one of them have like 900,000 video uh, viewer, 900 something, you know, 970,000. This is was long ago. So I'm so happy to see you, all of you Indonesian, Muslims and Christians, learning, educating yourself so nobody can fool you. We don't want anyone to fool you. We are following Christ. Christ, he said, I am the truth. So we are obligated to teach only the truth. The Messiah even forbid us from saying, we swear. He said, either you say, yay, yay, or nay, nay. Anything else is from the devil. Christian always should be honest, telling the truth. While Muhammad in the Quran says, Allah, la yu'akhidukum. Allah will not take you accountable of your false oath. Have you ever heard of a, such a teaching? While in the Bible it's forbidden for you to use the name of God in vain. The Quran. Saying no problem. Use my name. Swear in my name as long as you don't mean it. What do you mean don't mean it? So you are saying to them, lie, lie. You see, when I say to you, swear in my name, as long as you don't mean it, it's okay. I am saying to you, use my name to lie. You don't mean it. This is what the liar mean. I swear by Allah, I'm going to pay you the money tomorrow. And tomorrow come, I don't mean it. And I will not pay you. Do you see it? This is God teaching. I don't know what it says in here in, in, in Indonesian language. You guys, you tell me, is that correct? It should say, Allah will not take you accountable for taking false oaths. Allah only judge you by your heart, which means what you meant. So you can take an oath. How this can be from God? 
So now I can go. Anyone he said to me, are you going? Okay, I borrow money from this person. Uh, Christian Prince, give me the money I gave you last month. Will you promise me? I swear by Allah, brother. I swear by Allah, brother. Tomorrow I will pay you. Allah will not take me accountable for my false oath because Allah only take me by my heart. The Muslim, they might say to you, oh, no, no, this is not about this. What if you take an oath for your wife? You know, you promise her you will not marry another woman. It's the same. It's a lie. This is even evil, more evil. Why you take an oath? You will not do that. Or, uh, uh, or another one will say to you, like, no, you say, I swear by Allah, I divorce you. And then you don't want to do that. Why you swear by Allah to divorce her if you don't want to divorce her? That's mean Islam is teaching you that you don't respect Allah, you don't respect your God, and your God name is a joke. You are not being truthful. So we have to be careful here, and we have to be smart. Don't let them deceive you, my friend. Don't let them deceive you. I'm so glad to see a lot of Indonesian leave Islam because of my videos. But at the end of the day, they are your videos. If you don't translate to them, if you don't add subtitle, if you don't, you know, cut the videos and do anything, which is a lot of work, that will not happen. So my friend, those who leave Islam is not because of my video. In fact, it is because of you who they are adding subtitle, translating, posting the video again. You are the one who is receiving the blessing. So we pray may the Lord bless those who they are adding subtitle. And I encourage all of you to subscribe to them and encourage them and support them. If, if you see one of them is doing that, he have a small channel. Try to away subscribe, support them. And make a comment so the video will appear. All right? And remember always, we have one master, this is what the Bible says, only one master, his name is the Christ, the Messiah. Christian Prince is not a master, he is not even a servant, he is no one. Never follow a man, for all men are sinners, including me. Never follow, neither a bishop, neither a priest, neither a Christian prince. You follow only one name. His name is the Messiah. There's no other name to be trusted. Put your trust in his name. Not in a man, not in a woman. Otherwise, you will be disappointed. I am here just to, sh to share my knowledge with you. I am not here to have somebody to follow me. I am no one. I am a sinner. And because we are sinners, we need the Messiah. Not because we are perfect, not because we are holy, not because we are the one who do nothing wrong, but because we are doing wrong, and because we are wrong, and because we commit sin, we need the Messiah, and there is no Savior but Him. Never, ever, put your trust in any man even if he is so good but doesn't mean there's no good men or good women but at the end of the day the word good is relative which means the good of us is the same as a filthy rag for god this is what the bible said the best of us the best of the best of us we human is the same as a filthy rag for god so why you want to follow a faith Iraq when you can follow the most beautiful, holy being ever exist? That is the Messiah. So on him we trust. On him we've been promised salvation. And with him we are victorious, not with a Christian prince. The Lord himself is our victory. Knowledge is to arm us so we will not be fooled so our children they will not be fooled by a bunch of liars this is what knowledge is for but knowledge come only 
if you are going to use it in the right place because knowledge can be evil too so there is a useful knowledge there is an evil knowledge there's somebody want to make a nuke to kill and there's somebody want to make a nuke facility to generate electricity each one of them is going different direction one he want to make light for you and the other one he want to destroy you there's one is working as a doctor to fight coronavirus and there's one is making it both are doctors the knowledge here is not knowledge of hate is knowledge of love we love Muslims all over the world and I have a special love for those in Indonesia because I believe strongly that Christians in Indonesia they were waiting for a long time for somebody to get the lies busted and now Christians in Indonesia they have a lot of knowledge about the cult of Muhammad and I believe soon that not a single Indonesian Christian any Muslim can debate him about Islam and nobody can deceive you ever this was your weakness before because your priest was doing a business he don't dare to speak about Islam he don't dare to teach you and maybe he himself is ignorant you do not know what to say now you know now they cannot fool you now not only they cannot fool you now you can help them you are the pharmacy the hospital the medicine the salt of Indonesia so may the Lord bless you all and the Messiah he says if the salt is damaged which with what we will add to the food I'm trying to use the correct words you are the salt of this earth my friend may the Lord bless you and we pray for people in Indonesia to see and learn and the truth will set them free I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the beginning I am the end I am the truth I am the resurrection I am he the Lord he said and yet they say to us where Jesus says I am God worship me this is how silly they are they are like a bunch of teenage they open their mouth like a frog and they say nothing but buck 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 the second you start hearing you hear nothing but noise no wisdom no truth nothing and this is why it's very easy to expose them let the frog speak loud at the end of the day he will get nothing but a fly in his mouth they will get what they deserve those who belong to the garbage they will go to the garbage and those who belong to the flowers they will go to the flowers once a person he says to me have you ever been in a striptease club i said no he said how come i said fly go to garbage bees go to the flowers we go to the messiah and you go where you belong thank you all i will try to go live on air again tomorrow morning if i could if not I will leave this video for tomorrow so you can download it and you can translate it and maybe the day after. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again.